Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. We'll be doing Duel Dragons, but first, I wanted to kick this episode off by buying the Jack Atlas booster packs. Because I didn't do that in the last episode, because the last episode was long and I thought we could start this one. This He's got Ally of Justice cards, and I'm not really seeing anything else. Oh, he's got Yang Zings and Battery Men. Okay. So, I'm not really into this pack at all. Oh, he's got Infernities, which isn't bad. I do like Infernities. I don't think I'll play them, but I do like them. Okay, not too much out of these. We'll pull two more Jack Atlas packs, but... Oh, there we go. There's a Resonator. Kind of his... His is Tuner Monster. Tuner Monsters, because there's different Resonators. Sea Dragon Lord Gishalondon. Gishalondon. Or Nodon. It's a weird name. Oh, he's got Fortune Ladies. Why does he have Fortune Ladies? I feel like... I feel like Akiza should have the Fortune Ladies, even though that's not what you played. I'm just saying I think it wouldn't be... I guess maybe it doesn't. Didn't the lady that liked Jack, that Carly or whatever her name is, wasn't she in the Fortune Ladies? Akiza, also known as the infamous Black Rose Witch, was next to battle Yusei. Before it was underway, she met with her mentor, Sayer. Akiza, Goodwin, and his people are part of the Order of Iliaster, a group seeking to resurrect, and force known as, resurrect a force known as the Crimson Dragon. If allowed to return, the dragon will bring the world to its knees. That's where we, came, we, where we come in. We, the Arcadia Movement, will stop Goodwin and lead the world down the right path. Sounds like a good time. Speaking of time, it's almost time for your duel with Yusei. The final round of the Fortune Cup was about to begin. Isn't the final round of the Fortune Cup me versus Jack Atlas? Isn't that the final round? Battle, or Knight of the Red Lotus. The hell? If you have exactly three... Exactly three? How often does that happen? I have exactly three cards and monsters in my graveyard, and I have this card in my hand. Like, how often? That never happens. I'm gonna get wrecked by her Black Rose Dragon. She's gonna drop it first turn and just wreck me. She's gonna hit me with that hot GG. Now look at the reinforcements of the army, dude. It's a party. It's gonna be a party in my hand with warrior monsters. Okay. Reinforcements of the army. Um. Okay, let me get Junk Synchron. And reinforce another army again. And I'm gonna bring Shield War here. Okay, what is this? Equip shot. Activate only during the battle phase. Select one equip card. Equip to a face up attack monster you control, and select one face up attack position monster your opponent controls. Equip that monster with the selected equip card. Then conduct battle between your previous equipped monster and the selected monster. Other effect. Okay, that's just weird. Let's go with Fortress Warrior. I'll play really defensive off the bat. Oh, this is not good. Rose Tentacles. Thorn of Malice. What the heck does that do? What the? The heck did that do? Oh my god, this is not good. Well, time to set him in defense mode. Just gonna keep summoning. Oh my, oh my gosh! What the? What the hell was that? Oh, it's got piercing damage now. Welp, I need to summon him now, I think, but I don't want to. But I have to. Okay, I've got to summon something good, and this is not my definition of something good. Okay, so he'll get 200 extra attack. It's not enough. It is not enough. Just great. Really? Really? What the heck does this even do? Use 
You suck. You suck. You really suck. Why did she go about it that way? Why is my guy... Oh, it's... I don't know. Okay, well, I got a Synchro Summon again. Bring him back. I gotta synchro something something good. It's gotta be something good. Well, that's not really what I wanted. But it will have to do. Bring him out in attack mode. It's got 3100 attack now, which is more than enough. Take this thing out. Get that crap off the field. I'm gonna leave Hedgehog in defense mode for now. God, I don't have any good cards in my hand, man. This is not good. I just got a bunch of crap in my hand. But that will work. Switching the Hedgehog to attack mode. Okay, good. Attack's going through. Beautiful. We've taken the lead. Although it takes is a Black Rose Dragon for her to blow up the field and completely screw me. Bring Junk Synchron back out. Oh, Spore. Dark Verger. Oh, she's Synchro Summoning. Oh no, she didn't. Okay, is that GG, really? She's gonna let me win that easily? Um, I'll bring out Stardust. Let's do this. Alright. Can I just end this with Stardust right here? Nope! Wall of Thorns. Ha ha! GG! Let's go! Ah! Akiza? I think you've done enough damage for one day, Mr. Fu Fudo. Akiza's coming home with me. The Fortune Cup Finale. Reverse Duel Duel Dragons, Akiza Deck Avatar, Phoenix Black Rose Deck Recipe, Phoenixian Cluster Amaryllis, Giga Plant, Dark Verger, Duel Points. Fortune Cup Final! Here we go! Time to kick Jack Athlas' ass! After the duel with the Black Rose Witch, you say uncovered Goodwin's plans for the Crimson Dragon and confronted him. Time to talk. You forced me into this tournament, you threatened me, and you locked up my friends. I know... I want to know the truth. I'm not dueling Jack until you tell me why you've done this. Are you dense, you say? It's because of this mark. He wants the Crimson Dragon's power, so he's, be, so he's been trying to gather everyone who has a mark. He's got me here by lying to me, buttering me up and manipulating me. Oh, come on, you're making me sound so devious. Jack, you wanted to be the du Turbo Duel Champion. Yeah, but I wanted to earn that title. At this point, I'm starting to think you've been rigging everything. You set me up as bait for you, say. Goodwin knew that you would come after me if I did everything exactly as he asked. Don't be ridiculous. I don't know about you, I don't even know about you, say, until you dueled him that night in the arena. Do you honestly expect me to believe that this is all some big coincidence? I have a demand to make. You get, you got what you wanted. You say serious, and he so let his friends go. I want this duel to be legit. No threats, no gimmicks, just us. If that is what my champion wants, then so be it. So the battle between Yusei Fudo and Jack Atlas began. This is it. I'm finally going to show you that you don't know. You don't have what it takes to be the best. You say. Are you sure we should be doing this? There's still a lot we don't know about the Crimson Dragon. This is exactly what I'm talking about, you say. You have no guts. Fine, Jack. Let's duel. Herald of Orange Light. <laughs> There's so many of those stupid Herald Light cards. 
I pulled the gold, the Ghost Rare Herald of Perfection in that gold premium. I pulled that. Oh, Jack, go second, Jack, go second, Jack, don't be a dick, don't be a dick. You suck, Jack. You suck. I hate you. Alright. Not bad. Not bad, I'll take this hand. Hyper Synchron. What? Okay, I'm gonna bring Junk Synchron to my hand. Oh, nice. Nice job with that, getting that to the grave. Activate by sending two cards from your hand to the graveyard. While your opponent has more than 3,000 life points, inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent if this card is in the graveyard. You can add it to your hand instead of conducting your normal draw phrase during your draw phase. During your opponent's turn at damage mat, make the damage you take from the zero. Then you can add one warrior type tuner monster with 1500 or less defense from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, none of that helps me right now. I think I know what I want to do. It's a little risky, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. Because I think it'll work. But I'm not sure. Oh, he's gonna do Meteor Flare. You dick. Okay, this'll work. This should work. This should work, I'm hoping. I'm hoping I'm not making a giant mistake. I don't want to activate it yet. I need to hold down B. Okay, go ahead and synchro summon Jackie, a dick. Do it, just synchro summon on my ass. Well, he's not gonna do it, okay. Well, I will make you regret that mistake. I'm gonna synchro summon. If you don't want to, I will. Yay, now I can special summon my Quill Bolt Hedgehogs! Let's do this special summon. I think I'm gonna go Junk Warrior. I think I'm, I'm going Junk Warrior. Because he's gonna get a nice attack point boost right here. Yep, he's got 3200 attack. What the? Oh my god. No. Okay, it went back to normal attack, but I lost my boosted attack. Is he synchroing? He's not synchroing yet. Okay, bring Junk, or junk Synchron back. No, I don't want it back. During your battle phase, immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro summon one Synchro monster using your monsters you control. Alright, give me this guy back. So what I'm Synchro summoning... Oh, I can Synchro summon Stardust Dragon, but I don't really want to. I've taken the lead! Alright, Jack, what you gonna do? You're just gonna play a simple monster. Oh, look, Scrap Iron Scarecrow. 
guess I'll play Urgent Tuning just in case. 100 damage is not worth it. I can't win anyway, so we're gonna attack with Junk Warrior. I couldn't have won by attack by getting that one to go through. That's why I didn't risk that monster having more than 1300 defense. do this. No, not yet. No, stop. Now it's time to urgent tune. Bring out Stardust Dragon. And win the duel. GG, Jack. Due to the intensity of the duel, the Crimson Dragon was finally summoned forth. It's the sign we've been waiting for. The Crimson Dragon will soon awake from its long slumber. Um, just one question about all that. I thought we needed five signers, but we only have four. The little girl, Akiza, Yusei, and Jack. I know who the fifth signer is. Who you do? How exciting! Then that means we can unlock all of its power. That's right, Lazar, but first we must see if we can harness the immense power the Crimson Dragon summoning will create. After the Crimson Dragon was successfully summoned, Rex Goodwin revealed himself to be the final signer. He revealed a vision to the other four signers of a future that they needed to prevent. The vision was of New Domino City's destruction, and it could all be prevented by the ones who inherited the Crimson Dragon's sign, Crimson Dragon's power. During the vision, Yusei was able to defeat Jack and claim vision, victory. Jack, are you okay? You beat me. I don't know how you did it, but you're the champ now. If that vision is true, none of this matters because it looks like we all might lose. We're in danger. Both New Domino City and the satellite might be destroyed. We have to unite to stop it from happening. Immediately after their epic duel, Yusei was proclaimed as champion. Uh, super Sensory Shakedown ca Campaign Duel. Reverse Duel, the Fortune Cup, Final, Finale. It's just the final. Deck Recipe, Red, Dra Red Dragon Marauder, Red Dragon Archfiend, Award Card... D-Synchro, Mass Chameleon, and some Victory Duel Points. Alright, Super Sensory Shakedown. Soon after the Fortune Cup ended, Yusei found himself in another duel against a man claiming to be a Dark Signer. After Yusei defeated his foe, he attempted to question him, but the individual had no memory of what had just transpired. The man seemed to be under some sort of mind control. However, this was the moment that Yusei met the journalist Carly Carmine. Yeah, this is the stupid chick that's in the jack. Hi, I'm Carly Carmine, and I was hoping you'd tell me what it's like to be the first amateur to take on Domino City's new champ. And what happened here with this freaky dude in the hood? Hey, do you hear sirens? Who called security? We better get out of here before they start asking questions. But my interview! We'll finish it later. Later on, Yusei met up with Rex Goodwin to find answers about the Dark Sangers. Yusei, the time has come for me to tell you the truth. Why don't we start with this mark? That is the mark of the Crimson Dragon. It belongs to those who protect our world from the darkness. This darkness is dangerous. It can take on many forms, even those of your friends. But you will know their identities, for they will have the mark of the shadows. Mark of the shadows? You must mean the Dark Signers. Just as you were chosen to protect the light, they chose to protect the darkness. They will stop at nothing to an annihilate you. To increase their strength, they absorb human souls, even those of the innocent. You and your friends must combine your strengths and defeat the Stark Signers. And if we can't, what if they release the shadows? If that should happen, well, you've seen you've already seen a glimpse of our fate. After talking with Good Goodwin, Yusei was dispatched to satellite in order to seek out the Dark Signers. That's when he met an old friend. Hey Yusei! Good to see you, pro. What have you been up to? You know me, still fighting the good fight, robbing the rich to feed the poor and all that. So I hear that you're some big shot champion now. Yeah, something like that. Crow, where, uh, why are the streets so deserted? These creepy cats have been coming around lately. They spout these wacky teachings trying to round up followers. I better look into this. Before too long, Crow and Yusei both came face to face with the Dark Signer. Yusei. And his bird brain friend. Kaylin Kessler? Is that you? I thought you were gone forever. Wrong, you say, and while I was away, I made some new friends. I believe you already dueled one of my associates. You mean the Dark Signer? You're on their side? But you were once our friend. 
Once your friend, yes, but now your enemy. Now get ready for the duel of your life. He's a dark sider. This is what Goodwin was talking about when he said the darkness may come in the form of a friend. During their duel, Kaelin summoned Earthbound Immortal Kapak Kapakapu or Kapakapu, and the creature absorbed human souls throughout the arena. Kaelin then used this monster to defeat Yusei. Yusei's friends immediately rushed to Yusei's side. Meanwhile, Luna and Leo discuss their next move to help stop the Dark Signers. Since we fight evil, that means we're superheroes, and superheroes are always supposed to stick together. That's like their most important thing. I think their superpowers are more important. Anyway, you're absolutely right, Leo. Leo let's stick together right here in this nice cozy mansion. What about Akiza? She may be a signer, but that doesn't mean we can trust her. She's part of the weird of that weird Arcadia movement that's got all the psychics. Their main objective is to train duels to inflict real damage. But Akiza would never really want to hurt people. Who knows? I say we stay as far away as possible. But Yanagi agreed that us heroes gotta stick together. What if she needs our help? Or if Yusei's in trouble and we need Akiza's deck as backup. Dude, this is a ton of reading. <sighs> There's like a million reasons why this is a good idea. Meanwhile, Leo, Luna, Bolt, and Tenzin travel to our to Arcadia Movement headquarters to get help from Akiza. You want to see Akiza? She's awfully busy. What's so incredibly important that you've come all the way here? She has the Mark of the Dragon. That means she's a superhero. Luna and me are superheroes too. We're going to help our friend Yusei and fight the Dark Signers and save the whole city. I've been monitoring some strange occurrences lately myself. I would love to help you. You would? My Arcadia movement represents all that is good. I promise that you that I'll do everything to stop this threat. Alright, thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go get Akiza. Unfortunately, the entire visit was a trap set up by Sayer. His intention was to test Leo's ability to find out if they were similar to Luna's. Where's Luna? Where am I? Why am I chained up with this gizmo on my head? That hat detects latent psychic powers, assuming that you have any. Latent what? You said you were going to get a Kiza and help us fight the Dark Signers. I will make society pay for how they discriminated and treated psychics throughout time. What are you going to do to me? Take my brain or something? Of course not. You're here to take a test, to see if you have the power of a psychic duelist. Akiza was just a preview. I have dozens more psychic duelists at my command. Psychics can do incredible things with their mind. Does this mean Akiza's going to help you get even? But she's supposed to be a hero. A hero? She doesn't even know what I'm really doing here. Now, what do you say we start that test? Thank God I don't have to read anymore. So much reading! <laughs> so much reading in that section. That was like six minutes of reading, it feels like. Definitely need a drink of my cherry coke after that. Alright. This will be easy. I think Sayer's got a pretty good deck. And Leo's got those stupid, crappy Morphtronics that my grandma could beat. Ah, very nice. I will take this hand. Not half bad. Not bad at all. Huh, not bad. What is his Synchro Monsters looking like? Thought Ruler Archfiend. Okay. I don't have- oh, I do have a tuner. That's a good tuner. Oh. That's a- it's a nice leveled tuner. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna set Call of the Haunted and attack. Okay, get rid of that stupid Morktronic. And let me end my turn. Nothing much else I could have done. Okay, what you gonna do, Leo? Morphtronic Accelerator. Um, what the heck? What the... The hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just not gonna work, Leo. I'm just gonna bring it right back. Okay. What is this? Target 3 Psychic... Okay, well, I can't do that, but I guess it's good to have it. Dr. Cranium? Okay, I'm gonna summon this card. 
Okay. Now attack his face down. Arthronic Slingin. Okay, and my turn. What you gonna do, Leo? What you gonna do? You're gonna play Junk Box. And summon another crappy Morphtronic. Oh my gosh, I've had enough of your crap! Stop destroying my monsters! You suck! Activate if you control only one face up sight and select that monster. It can attack your opponent directly this time. Don't really need that. Let's just summon him. Okay, I'll take 2,900 damage. Not amazing, but not horrible, so I've got a huge lead now. 3,200 to 8,000. Alright, what you gonna do? Oh my gosh. Dude, stop with your stupid Morphtronics. I'm sick of this crap. I'm sick of your Morphtronic BS. Hey, look, it's MST. And get rid of your only magic card. Yeah, get that crap out of here. Dr. Cranium. Sure. Oh, hey. Oh, I can synchro summon. We're doing it. We're bringing them out. Screw it. There's another reason why I'm doing this. But I want Th Thought Ruler Archfiend. There we go. That's what I want. No! Dude! Dude! What the hell? I'm sick of this crap. I'm sick of these stupid Morphtronics and their stupid effects. Okay, I want to send him back. Him back and this dude back. This is mostly just about drawing cards. I just want to draw some cards. Give me something good. Nope, I don't think this is too good. What is he doing? Is this card permanently in defense mode? Banish it during the end phase. Let's go with this. Okay, when a second to, to, to target the opponent's monster, destroy that target. Damage equal. Okay. think I know what I'm doing. I can't. Oh, I. Wait, what? This is a psychic type monster. Why can't I attack? What the heck is wrong? I don't know what I just did wrong there. What, I just can't attack now? What the heck is this BS? Can I attack now? Like, what the heck just ha what the heck happened to me? Why can't I attack? Dude, what the heck happened? Well, I don't know what is going on with this duel. I'm not sure what happened. <sighs> what on earth is going on? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm seriously confused. I can attack now. I don't know what is different, but... Do 
you suck, dude, so much. Oh my god, I'm so sick of this stupid Mortronic deck. They're, so, they're just a bunch of dicks. This deck is so stupid. Literally so stupid. I can attack, I guess. Thank you. Get these stupid Morphtronic cards off the field. I'm so close to victory. So close to victory. Alright, let's summon Psychic Snail. All right, dude. We'll do. We'll do this. So I'm guaranteeing your defeat. Oh, you can't attack when. You oh my god, you can't attack when you activate that effect. Dang it, dude. Why do I gotta be such an idiot? Give me Thought Dragon. Give me Thought Ruler Archfiend. Thank you. Now I'll do this effect. Alright, let's do this. GG, Leo. You're, you and your stupid Morphtronics. Sorry, Luna. It looks like the boy isn't special after all. At least I still have the girl. Digging Deeper, Campaign Duel, Reverse Duel, Super Sensory Shakedown, a Morphtronic Power Tool Deck Recipe, Power Tool Dragon, Morphtronic Remotin, Magical Mallet, and some Victory Duel Points. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, we'll be doing Digging Deeper, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you all then. Peace out.